A typical speech application, meaning an application that makes use of automatic speech recognition or text to speech software, can be composed of many different pieces. Sometimes, this complexity can seem overwhelming. But at their most basic level, speech applications have just a few important components. In this video, we'll take a look at understanding those basic components and see how they fit together to make up the speech application. Broadly speaking, we can divide the components into two groups. On one end are the pieces that are supplied by developers, including a voice platform which executes speech applications, and things such as grammars, audio, and SSML documents that drive individual interactions. On the other end are the various components of a speech installation, including the LumenVox Media Server, Automatic Speech Recognizer, and Text-to-Speech Server, as well as a license server. Don't worry about understanding each piece yet. We'll cover each one in turn, starting with grammars. Grammars are text or XML documents used in speech recognition that provide rules and definitions about what a user can say. They are written by the developer of a speech application and are supplied as part of the speech application. They are not used for text-to-speech, only automatic speech recognition. In an ASR application, audio of a speaker is supplied in order to be recognized. In most cases, the audio source is live, streaming audio, coming from a caller on some sort of telephone. This may be a standard landline over the public switch telephone network, a mobile telephone, or a device using voice over IP. In addition to live, real-time recognitions, LumenVox also supports pre-recorded audio being loaded from a disc, but this is much less commonly used. For most use cases, the only audio codec supported by LumenVox is G711. LumenVox supports both MuLaw and ALaw forms of this codec, which are the two most common audio formats around the world, and are supported by virtually every telephony device in existence. LumenVox does not natively support codecs such as G729 or MP3, nor do we recommend using these codecs for speech recognition purposes, as they have been shown to decrease recognition accuracy. Speech Synthesis Markup Language, or SSML, provides written text for TTS software to turn into spoken audio. Like grammars, writing SSML is a fairly complex topic on its own. It is not used for speech recognition, only TTS. A voice platform provides telephony functions such as call control and managing audio streams to and from callers. It also provides application control generally in the form of executing voice XML applications, though many voice platforms support other programming languages. Some portion of the voice platform must provide support for the Media Resource Control Protocol, or MRCP, which is the industry standard way of communication between speech resource servers and voice platforms across a network. The voice platform will establish MRCP sessions with LumenVox in order to load grammars, SSML documents, and audio. LumenVox will then return speech recognition results or synthesized text back over these MRCP sessions. In most real-world situations, the voice platform will talk to various application, database, and network edge servers, but those are not pictured here. Note that a developer who works with LumenVox's C or C++ API will effectively be building their own voice platform and will use that API directly instead of MRCP. The LumenVox Media Server is a process that translates between the voice platform's MRCP interface and the core ASR and TTS resources on the back end. In an ASR session, the Media Server accepts grammar files and audio, then loads them into the ASR in order to perform a speech decode, then returns text back to the voice platform. In a TTS session, the media server accepts SSML documents, then returns synthesized audio back to the application. The media server is also responsible for talking to the LumenVox license server to ensure licenses are available for each requested session. LumenVox supports both versions 1 and 2 of the MRCP specification. MRCP version 1 uses the real time streaming protocol, or RTSP for session management and signaling, 
while MRCP version 2 uses the Session Initiation Protocol, or SIP, for the same purpose. Both protocols rely on the Real-Time Protocol, or RTP, for audio transport. The ASR and TTS servers provide the core automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech synthesis functions. Their communication with the media server is over TCP using a proprietary LumenVox protocol. This allows all of the LumenVox services to run on the same machine, or for them to be split across separate machines, communicating over a network. LumenVox distributed architecture allows for a media server to communicate with multiple ASR and TTS servers, which is useful for load balancing, failover, and high availability deployments. The LumenVox license server provides licenses to the media server. Whenever a voice platform requests a new ASR or TTS resource, the media server first checks the license server to see if a license is available. Each active MRCP session requires one license. Like ASR and TTS servers, distributed architecture allows for redundant license server infrastructure. As you have seen, a typical speech application can be reduced to just a few key components. In the simplest cases, all of these components may reside on a single server, while more complex deployments may call for clusters of servers to provide load balancing and redundancy. In any case, the speech application and its developers provide grammars, audio, and SSML documents to the voice platform. The voice platform is responsible for communicating with the LumenVox media server over MRCP. In turn, the media server translates the MRCP requests to backend ASR, TTS, and license servers. Once the ASR and TTS have completed the requests, the media server returns the results of each request to the voice platform, which can then act appropriately. To learn more about speech recognition and how to build your own speech applications, visit us online at developer.lumenvox.com, where you can engage directly with other speech developers, view additional training videos, and learn from the many white papers, articles, and other resources.